All right, so good. So how should we approach this? What should we what should we do first here, right? So let's understand what what it when you say, okay, well, you know, we have we have these numbers on the top, we have these numbers on the bottom, which is going to multiply the top and multiply the bottom and and divide by the two, right? So when it comes to the test, it's not like you can take in your calculator. It's not your TI-83, right? It's not like you got a graphing calculator or something like that, right? And so um, and so with that, the calculator is a very basic calculator. So add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? And so given that, um, it doesn't even store the numbers that you put in there. It's not supposed to anyway, right? So let's understand what that what it looks like if you're talking about um, multiplying the top, multiplying the bottom, and, and, and dividing the two. So what does that what does that really look like on a very practical level? So how does that actually work, and what does that actually look like? Okay, so that means that you take um, you take this 121 times this 560, right? And so that's going to give you a big number. Right. And so when we talk big number, we're talking like, you know, uh, four to six digit number there. Right. We're not talking a small digit number. Right. Um, and so. So, Jennifer, any idea what that what that number uh, might be? Um, Jeanette, any, any idea what that number is? I mean, off the top of your head without a calculator. Right? Any, any idea what that number is? Right. All right. So is it is it four hundred and eighty seven thousand three hundred sixty two or is it is it two hundred and eighty seven thousand four hundred and sixty two? Or is it, you know, six hundred thousand nine, you know, nine, you know, ninety two or something, right? I have no clue, right? Um, and so you've already violated the first rule, which is, you know, you don't know where you are, right? And so you don't want to lose track of where you are by making the numbers bigger, right? And so then you go even further and you make the number even bigger, right? And so this gives you another big number. And so at this point, we're talking, you know, um, seven, you know, really eight to eight to nine, ten digit number or so. Right. And so and so by the time you get to here, you're, you're talking a, a nine to ten digit number. Right. And and with that, you're definitely going to have to have to take this number. You have to write it down. OK, so you take this nine sixty times this one thirty two and that's going to give you a big number. And both, by the way, you got to write that uh, that top number down, that numerator number down, because, you know, you can't you know, you don't have a graphing calculator, right? And so you don't have parentheses on your calculator, okay? And so you take this big number, which again is gonna be, you know, five to six digits or so, okay? You take that number, you write, you write it, potentially you have to write it down. Take this number times this number, that's gonna give you another big number. And so again, now we're talking, you know, eight, nine, 10 digit number or so um, that you're definitely gonna have to write down. Now, hopefully you wrote that down properly, right, and correctly, because if you put a, a one in the hundred millions place instead of a, a six in the hundred millions place, then you just, you know, did it all wrong, okay? And so, and you, do, do you have any idea once you do plug this number in, whether you messed up or not? No, all right, so you've lost where you are, okay? So now, once you do that, you, you, you know, you have to write down both these numbers, you have to plug in this number and then divide by this, you know, big number, Right, and then what, what's the calculator going to spit out? The calculator is going to spit out, um, I don't know, 1.637924178341, right? Any idea whether that's right or not? Any, any idea whether that's correct? Because I mean, that's what the calculator is going to spit out, by the way, right? And so in terms of your answer choices, you have A, you have B, you have C, and you also have D, okay? So now with that, let's say A says uh, 1 in 5 over 9. Answer choice B says one in seven over 13. Let's say answer choice C says uh, one in 19 over uh, 20, um, uh, 27. Let's say answer choice D says one in 21 over um, 33. Any idea which one of those answer choices would be the correct answer? All right. so now you have to take, you know, your number that, that spit out of the calculator, right? And you have to try and figure out which one of these it's going to be. Right? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Um, no clue, right? And so, um, so with that, I'm just guessing at that point, right? And so I can then I can I can certainly waste some more time, right? And take each one of these answer choices and try and figure out, okay, well, which one if I if I divide the five by the nine or the seven by the thirteen or the nineteen by the twenty-seven, which one of these would it be? Right? I can waste some more time and do that, right? And so instead of doing that, I would say let's take a different approach, right? So let's not take that approach, right? And so let's 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 cer certainly look to um, you know look to do something different and figure out how to do this question in five and ten seconds, 
not two and three minutes, right? And so we can do this question in five and 10 seconds by understanding just some basic concepts of, of just how, how numbers work and how math works, okay? And so we'll talk about how to, how to really simplify before you multiply, how to, uh, how to identify key components of this question to be able to get to the correct answer pretty quickly, all right, make sense?